Welcome back viewers and subscribers. In this video, we're going to talk about Jason Lee spilling the tea, honey, letting us know that Winnie Harlow and Megan Thee Stallion had a fight at Michael Rubin's 4th of July party. Let's talk about it, shall we? Because many of us have been theorizing that this is the new replacement for Diddy parties. Even though Michael Rubin has been having his 4th of July parties for quite some time now. So it's definitely not coming as any surprise that all the cel all the celebrities would have been there. No. Also, <laughs> it is surprising and not surprising that Winnie Harlow and Megan Thee Stallion had a problem with, with each other. And we do not know what is the cause of that. Jason Lee said that he was told they were fight, they were fighting and he's now trying to get, you know, Megan Thee Stallion. He wants to talk to Megan Thee Stallion and he also wants to talk to Winnie Harlow. No, many people believe that Megan Thee Stallion has a drinking problem and as such they can see how easy it would be for her to get into fights. Many people are using that Tory Lanez incident saying that every time Megan Thee Stallion drinks or go to a party, she's always in a beef with someone or always getting shot. No, not just that. Critics are saying that Winnie Harlow has a attitude problem. She's sassy, she's saucy, and she's always giving, giving bad vibes. No, um, with Winnie Harlow, I can understand being of Caribbean descent. You know, Caribbean people are spicy and sometimes people really take it seriously because they're just not familiar with the culture. However, does this gives Winnie any excuse to be starting fight at a party? Definitely not. And when we look at Megan the Stallion's documentary and the things that Megan the Stallion has shared with us over the years, she told us that once she gets drunk, she gets ag aggressive, and if something goes wrong, she wants to resolve it with a fight. So considering the two, you can definitely tell that, you know, it would have been very easy for them to have an altercation. Now, the internet wants to know what is the cause of the altercation. And I don't know. I don't know. You know, a part of me is saying, is it offset? I cannot help to shake offset. I don't know why. I don't know why I believe that, you know, they were beefing over offset. I don't know why I even think it's a man, but I cannot shake the feeling that it has something to do with Mr. Offset. Now, many of you may say, but at the time, Offset was married. Yeah, but remember that Offset has always been in the streets. It's why Cardi B has always been, you know, having these meltdowns on the internet because she, while she is remaining committed to her hubby, her hubby is out here dipping and doing and diving and all of that jazz. And also, we've heard before that Winnie Harlow and Offset, they have been on quite a few dates, allegedly while he was with Cardi B. I don't know if you guys had seen that podcast interview of the young lady talking about Offset and Winnie Harlow. So that is my reason for saying, you know, could it have something to do with Offset or something else that we may not be aware of, you know? But definitely, I can see this happening, especially as it relates to Megan the Stallion. While people may say, you know, Winnie Harlow is sassy, she has a bad attitude, you know, she's really not known to get in fights and disagreements. She will use her mouth and she will, you know, speak to address anything or concerns. But I'm, I've never heard of Winnie Harlow being in any fight with anyone. So this is pretty interesting, isn't that Megan the Stallion is, you know, having another episode again, wherein, you know, she drinks and she cannot handle her liquor and would easily just get feisty with someone. Did you guys see that award? I think it was what? I don't remember if it was the BET Awards or the MTV Awards when um, Justin Timberlake said something to her. And she was very upset, like, don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. But they were able to squash that real quick. And we saw both of them, you know, just th um, 
taking photographs, I should say, together after that and just squashing whatever happened. The internet was basically asking what went wrong. Many people try to play it off to make it seem as though it was just a skit. They were just playing around, but we know that wasn't no playing around. Now, guys, <laughs> I want to hear from you because you know, just like everyone else, I want to know what caused them to have a fight and who won that fight. I want to know. I'm curious. I really want to know. And are you guys like me? Do you think that it has something to do with offset? Because I cannot be the only one who is thinking that it has something to do with offset. So I want to hear from you guys. Now, while you're at it, remember, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care, stay safe, and see you guys later. Bye, guys.